we'll call the board of Mayor and Alderman uh, together for Tuesday, February the 28th. Uh, if you please rise and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. The opening prayers led by Pastor Lee Brand with Faith Baptist Church. Let us pray. Our Father, our God, how we thank you and how we praise you. We love you. We adore you. And I come tonight praying in a special way that you would bless our mayor, our board, Lord, to um, operate in your wisdom, in your grace, as they would lead our city. You say in your word, blessed is the man whose God is the Lord. If that's true of a man, that's true of a city. And may it be that you are God of this city. Forgive us, lead us, guide us. Help us to be a people who make much of Jesus. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor, I'd ask that you lead us in the pledge, too. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Our future meetings is the Bartlett Station Commission, March the 1st at 7.30 a.m. City Beautiful Commission, March the 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Family Assistance Commission, March 6th at 6 p.m. Planning Commission, March 6th at 7 p.m. Parks and Recreation Advisory Board on March the 9th at 6 p.m. And as, uh, as our normal practice, we recognize any scouts that might be in the room, and I do not see any scouts. So seeing no scouts in the room, we've got a very distinguished group of folks from uh, the Leadership Barlet. So I'd ask that all those who are here with the Leadership Barlet, please stand, rise, and be recognized. <laughs> Thank you all. Uh, now down to the official business of the day. The first item under the business is approval of the minutes. The minutes from February the 14th, 2023, the Board of Mayor and Auburn meeting. Chair would entertain a motion. Move we approve. Second. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, please go to your device and vote on the minutes, please. Motion minutes are accepted unanimously. And now the next item on the agenda is we move to the consent agenda. There's three items on the, on the consent agenda. Any of these items can be removed for separate discussion by any member of the board. Is there, is there any item any member wishes to remove? Seeing no one wish to, to remove anything from the board, I'd ask Madam Clerk to read the three items into the record, please. Dispense with the first Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting in March. Special event permit for Memphis Classic Chevy's Club May Car Show. Special event permit for Faith Family Fireworks. Is, it, is there any discussion? Well, first, I guess Mayor, we'd entertain a motion to approve. I'd move we approve. Second. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, please go to the your device and, and vote, please. Consent is approved unanimously. Next item under bit new business is architectural engineering design and services for Shadowlong Park restrooms. I'd ask uh, Ms. Shane Criswell, Director of Parks and Recreation, come forward and give an explanation, please. Good evening. Um, this on right here is uh, we're asking permission to accept the proposal from Ross Witt to conduct the engineering and design services for the Chatelon ADA upgrades. This is actually a pre-approved capital project. There was a RFQ conducted in 2014 and Ross Witt was awarded the contract to handle the nine ADA restroom upgrades in all city parks. They've now completed six of them and Chatelon would be the seventh. This project, because of where it sits, uh, is going to be a little bit more expensive, so we're going to do it in two phases. 
Uh, I've got a, she's got a picture up there. Okay. The restroom, as you see, sits on a hill. And we have to be able to make the sidewalks go all the way down that hill to the um, ball fields. There's four ball fields there. And then on the opposite side, I um, believe, yeah, shows the pickleball courts. See, it's up there on a hill, too. So all of that's got to be regraded so it's ADA compliant from the parking lot to the pickleball courts to the restrooms and then to the ball fields. So phase one of this project um, is going to be all of the regrading. And the regrading is going to be on either side that you saw. Okay, that's the uh, retaining wall is up here too. This is uh, another part of that regrading process. There is a retaining wall that you can see we've got a, um, a fence up around there. Um, that is an old retaining wall. I'm not sure when in the world it was put in, <laughs> but it's quite old, and as you can see, it's in disrepair. And to keep it safe and keep all the children safe, we're going to grade that hill down, but about a third of it is so high we're not able to do that, so we're going to put a stone block retaining wall that is approved up there, and it will look much, much, much nicer. So that will be all of phase one, will be all of that regrading. Then, uh, and that money is in the FY23 budget. Then in FY24, we're asking for some more money to complete phase two, and that will be the restroom. You can see it on the top of the hill. I think I've got another one. The six one, yeah. Uh, that restroom up there is in, I uh, can't tell right there in the picture, but it's in real bad shape. And it was put in by Shelby County some many, 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 many years ago, and it's not something that we can really renovate. It needs to be redone. So it's going to be knocked down, and we're going to construct a brand-new restroom, which will look just like the other restrooms that we have done in the parks already. So that is what we're seeking approval for. I think you have the price there, um, what it is. It's, um, it's going to be $73,800 to do all of it. That will include phase one and phase two. It will include all of the design work and all the engineering work because we have to have it surveyed and everything. And then it will include the construction administration mm -hmm. that Ross Witt will provide for the entire project while it's being done. Well, we have Shane at the mic. Is uh, any any uh, alderman have a question, Brad? Hey, Shane, is that new one going in the exact location where the old one is? Is it shifting any one way or the other, or is it going it, right? It's going to be in the same location, only it may be down just a little bit because we're doing all the regrading. All right, we and uh, is is there paved driveway to that? There is paved driveway almost to that, and then it becomes gravel. All right, so are they just going to ADA the parking there by the restroom but they're not doing any paving. That there won't really be parking by the restroom. The parking is in the parking lot. So it, it's so going to go from ADA the pick, it's going to go from the pickleball court and meet mm -hmm. ADA and go go that high all the way up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it may it may take some turns. Yeah, because it can do yeah, it. it to zig back and forth because uh -huh. there's not enough land to go yeah. that far. It really gets challenging it. on the other side. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alderman Rees. <laughs> So I have a little bit of animosity towards this bathroom because I went to Chatelon Middle School when I was in middle school. And as part of PE, when you got in trouble, you had to run around the bathroom, the light post, and the tennis courts. So I, I, man, I almost threw up a couple times running around. So I almost like to see it demolished, but since we need it, you said I'm going to prove it. But if you went to Chatelon and you remember running around that, running around the bathroom, you know, I kind of have PTSD from that. But the public needs it, so yeah. why not, right? It does. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to travel down memory lane, we'll make sure you know before we tear it down. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions, yeah. uh, Mr. Quinn? One, one question. Uh, since Little League is about to start, uh, is there any way to get some better fencing around?
that area just in case because sometimes you know there's hundreds of kids around there yeah or, or around the retaining wall because i know a kid got hurt there last year yeah yeah we heard that too we didn't see a report on that but um uh there we've got that fencing up right now it be very expensive to put a another fence up there. Oh, I'm not you, talking, talking about a, a about real fence. A, just, just more of the orange barrier, maybe oh, back, back around. Yes, we're gonna just, we're gonna replace that. Yeah, that's a few weeks. That's from not Little a good League. picture I showed you. Oh no, no, no. I was out there. <laughs> no, we're gonna get some new. Yeah, I'm out there every day picking up my. And when the contractor nice starts, he'll put up his own fence. Well, yes, yes. So, I'm, I'm talking about just Little League starting in a few weeks. That was all. Yes, it is. Yes, so yeah. we're gonna take care of that. Thank you. Thank you. Move it. Second. 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 Got a motion and a second, and uh, clerk got that. So any, any any further discussion? Seeing none, please go to your device and vote. Motion carries unanimously. We move to the part of the agenda. We have open discussion. First up is do we have any, any of the aldermen like have anything they'd like to say? Seeing none, now does any director have anything they'd like to say? Seeing no directors come forward, if a citizen has completed the open discussion form prior to the start of the meeting, they may come forward and state their name and address for the record. The citizen will have three minutes, at which time a buzzer will sound and you must sit down. No one coming forward, so the chair would entertain a motion to adjourn. So properly meshed, uh, properly second. All those in favor, just signify by saying aye. aye. Meeting is adjourned.